Hey guys, gonna do a little, uh, yeah, got a few things to show you today. Uh, went and did a yard sale today and uh, got these cool uh, aquarium plants. They were uh, just sitting in a box with some other stuff. And uh, look at the roots on these. Cool. I could use those for something. Those look great. But these are easy to take apart and use for little bushes, plants. You can use these like in a sci-fi or fantasy setting. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, uh, turned out the yard sale I stopped at, I knew the woman and uh, she was really nice. And uh, said just take them. She didn't want any money. I offered her some money. She said no. And she threw those at me and that was cool. Uh, in there with that was this guy, cool snake, uh, there's a little guy just for scale, yeah, uh, kill the snake, alright, anyway, that was neat, got them for nothing, beautiful, alright, let's see, let's do this, alright, these I bought on eBay, and I got like, I think there's like 50 of these. I just got these today, and they are so cool. They're little metal spiders. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little metal spiders. Those are going to look great if I'm doing like a drow campaign or something, or just want a cool spider decoration on a door. Those are awesome. And like I said, there's like 50 of them in this bag. I got it for like a buck. It might have been a little more than that, but it wasn't more. Than, it was less than $2, and that included free shipping. I mean, you can't beat that. I'll use them all over the place. Those are neat. Um, same company I got those from. I got these from. It is like a little pendant. They're metal, by the way. Those are metal, and so are these. But uh, check it out. Nine skulls. Those are going to be great in my Lord of the Rings campaign. Yeah, that's the, the Nazgul, the Nine. Very cool. Um, yeah, again, like I got, I got a ton of those, I think, for like a buck. And then I got I got this, was like a buck, too, uh, by itself. It was like a hair pin thing. I just took the wire off. But, yeah, I'm going to use that to make a door out of it. I think I'm going to split it down the center and make like a double door out of it. But cool, you can find some really neat stuff, really cheap on eBay like that. That you can use for crafting. Alright, um, another thing I wanted to show you real quick. I got these guys again on eBay. They are some kind of Marvel. I don't know if he's a bad guy or good guy. I think his name was like Crossus or something like that. If I think of the name, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, they, these were cool looking because they're like that translucent orange color. And I'm thinking elementals. These are like elementals to me. And I'm thinking that they could also be like magmen. Here's one that I painted up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I put some highlights on him and stuff. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, those are going to make great elementals. I'm going to use those. Uh, let me grab this real quick and I'll show you some other ones that I got. Sorry about the camera. Uh, yeah, look at this guy. Huge. Uh, the Phoenix. This thing's going to be great when I get it break, uh, broken down, rebased. I'll put some highlights on that. Again, there's another elemental type that I really like. Uh, these came with it. Again, they're like little fire pillars, whatever you want to call them. They could be little elementals, whatever. Those are going to be cool. I'm really, really happy that I got those. There's another guy for scale. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to enjoy messing around with those. Um, just real quick, World of Warcraft miniatures. If you played World of Warcraft, you recognize that guy, I'm sure. Ogre dude. Um, I took this guy, put him in some acetone, and got most of the paint off. You see there's like little ripples in his skin. I think that was from the acetone. I don't know, but I don't care because it looks cool. It makes it look like he's got uh, some scars on him and stuff. I'm going to finish painting that up. He's going to be neat. And again, these things are huge. They're way bigger than our normal miniatures from like the Paizo guys or the Wizards of the Coast stuff. But 
let's face it, if you're playing with that, I mean, come on. How cool is he looking? And, you know, he's just a big monster, so who cares if they're bigger? So that's neat. That's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get good use out of that guy. And I got a whole box of them. I bought like 100, oh, 150 of them uh, for like 25 bucks. I mean, it was dirt cheap. I couldn't beat it. And, uh, yeah, some of them I'll leave them painted the way they are, and some of them are stripped down like I did with that one. Um, I'll show you that in another video. This is the one that I wanted to show everybody, though. This was the stuff. This came from Johnny Luck, also known as Johnny, Johnny Borg. Uh, there's the uh, Dungeon Decor is the set. That was his Kickstarter, and uh, these are awesome. Um, I've already taken them out of the box just to make this video a little shorter, but yeah, look at that. Cauldron, there's scrolls, a uh, coil of rope, there's a vase with some canes in it, uh, a loot. How cool is that, a loot? I'm going to have that leaning up in the corner. At the end, awesome. There's a little butter churn thing, there's little boxes here, some books, some more scrolls. I loved this Kickstarter because it just had so many cool things in it that you don't, don't normally see. You know, I think that's like a, I don't even know what that is, like a mirror or something maybe? I don't know. I'll find something. There's a lid, lid for the, uh, a lid for the cauldron. Cool. And, uh, yeah, there's a torch with a sconce. There's another sconce with a candle. There's a little mini cauldron there. Awesome. There's a little bag with a clasp on it. Cool. More scrolls, open books. There's a bunch of them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can't wait to get those painted. Those are going to look great. Here's another bag with some stuff in it. Let's see what we got here. I love that. Look at that. The pig on the platter for the feast. Awesome. Again, if you played like World of Warcraft, you've seen that feast laying on the ground a million times. Awesome. Loaf of bread. Cool. A broom. Nice. Uh, what's that? A pile of wood. Cool. Um, ah, a little turkey. A little turkey. Uh, it's going to be painted up. There is a bellows, nice hourglass. That's like a mortar and pestle thing going on there. And then there's a bunch of plates with food on them here. One's got chicken on it. There's one with fish. There's another thing of bread. Uh, there's a little set of scales. Very cool. If you got like a mining operation in your campaign, the guys go there to sell their so the gold there's some bottles here uh some little cups there's a little hammer for the anvil nice there's the anvil if you didn't see it before there's a hammer nice and a little shovel maybe the uh blacksmith's using that to shovel some coal into the forge whatever cool very cool stuff love it love it love it love it all right let's see what else we got here let me save that one for last all right what do we got in this bag Another cool bag of stuff. Look at that. Awesome wheelbarrow. How can you beat that? And then the rest of the stuff is all weapons. There's like a Beck de Corbin and a Gwiz arm. There's some big big swords, a couple of crossbows in there, a mini one, a bigger one. There's a quiver, some axes, hammers. Awesome. Who can't use some miscellaneous weapons to lay around in a treasure pile or whatever? Perfect. Beautiful stuff to have. Love it. Love it, love it. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny Luck. Thank you, Johnny Borg. Whatever you're calling yourself this week. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is all of this stuff kind of goes together, so I'm just going to dump both of these out right here. These two bags. All right, check that out. Check that out. Cool coffin. There's a lid here somewhere, too. Little tables. There's a bunch of them. Long tables, round. Look at that. Awesome little grinding stone thing. Keep your stuff sharpened, right? You keep that at the blacksmith shop. And then you got some other cool stuff here. Like there's that barrel chair right there. That's sweet. Other little tables. There's three or four wooden type tables here. And again, you know, you could probably craft ones that are just as nice or nicer than these. But these are just done for you. And this was so cheap. I mean, you couldn't beat it. You know, they're all metal. So they're, you know, they're durable. 
Um, but this is the part that I liked the most about this set, is these seated figures. There are a bunch of seated figures in this set, and you don't see those hardly ever. You got this chick here with the big boobs. Look at her. She's plowing down that mug of ale. Beautiful. And then you got a wizard here. This guy's looking pretty cool. He's just kind of sitting here checking things out. And you got this guy over here. Look at this guy. Oh, he's awesome. He's chowing down on that piece of turkey leg or whatever it is. And then you got uh, this chick here. I think she's like telling a story about something maybe. I don't know. But those are great. Oh, wait. We got a guy back here. A couple other ones. I missed those. Yeah. Who do we got here? We got this guy with his arms folded. He's not enjoying himself. He just wants to get going and go do some more adventuring. And then you got this guy. Love this guy. Look at him. He's like leaning on the table. He's had way too much to drink. He's ready to go home. This guy. I uh, love it. There's like a, another chair there. Kind of like something you'd see in a church or something. Or maybe the magistrate sits on and you got these little... And tables and stuff. There's a little footstool kind of thing. What a great Kickstarter. That was awesome. Thank you, Johnny Love, Johnny Borg, whatever you're calling yourself this week. Really cool. Anyway, guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching. And uh, I'll bring you another video one of these days soon, I hope. Have a good one.